This video is brought to you by the Crazy Aquarium Guy. Hello, fish lovers, and welcome to Snacks Tanks Crazy Aquarium Guy. This video is gonna be good. You are not expecting what I'm gonna show you in this video, unless I ruin it with the good thumbnail. That's the problem. You wanna make a good thumbnail, and then you ruin the ending. Because usually the thumbnail is a picture of the ending or the middle. So we'll see what I do. But this will be much better than the other video. The other video was in the middle of the night. I wanted to show you blah blah blah. This is a very fun moment. This is a very exciting moment. And this is also an unboxing. How long time? I've been sending out like. 300 items since July when we closed down the shop so this was the first time that I actually went and took something home for a very long time so first unboxing and planting but stay tuned because it's always long like my videos are it's probably gonna be 27 minutes when I'm done with it but it's the it's very good at the end I think in my opinion if you divide it in two watch the other half that's the exciting part and watch my community page I pretty much upload something on the community page every other day now I didn't do that before so if you don't have that click that in with the, all the bells and all the stuff I don't know how you do it but you won't see it I update pictures what's coming up what's next teasers what's the what what is in the new video that's coming and not just for members for everybody so I'm active on the community tab I'm active on answering questions I'm active again overall and releasing videos I'm doing this at the same time when I'm releasing the video that you watched the 5th of May so I'm trying to be like two three videos a week again I'm gonna try that because now I have time the only thing I got now is time and the only thing I don't get it's money so what do you do you work hard you never give up it can always be worse I said that in the live stream already but you can say okay my economy is shit I need to sell everything all my life plan sucks I lived here 11 years my plan was live here 11 15 years the apartment raised up I moved with a nice lady to a house and make the whole thing and now I have to sell this get rid of debt and then rent an apartment again like a student begin all over again at 33 so but you know money is only money you can always get new money so I'm just happy that you're here and watching right now super thankful so this is just the intro I filmed the other stuff uh, today earlier when I got the sunlight because it's so much better when you get the sunlight because I, I live in southeast of my balcony so the videos get better now it's like 8 a.m. a.m. p.m. Mm. 8 and p.m. Can you start with military time like we do? It's 2100. So much more easy. You know, it's night. Whatever. Another long intro. <laughs> As usual. Now it's 31 minutes. But welcome to Sax Tanks Crazy Aquarium Guy. I love you guys for supporting me. 95% don't watch anymore and that's terrible but instead of putting me down I'm actually gonna show you that I'm back and get that I'm not gonna get 95% back 
5% is still here. But soon, those 95% are going to go down to 60 or 75 or 50 and so on and so on. Because it used to be my subscribers really watched me and I didn't get any views from anybody else. So, and that's my own fault. I got away from YouTube because I couldn't, I didn't have the time. But it's different now because it's not, nothing in between. I am selling the apartment. And even if I don't open the tattoo shop, I'm still moving to that city. So I'm gonna live in the same city where I have my channel and aquariums. So this is never gonna happen again. Okay? So please give me another chance. Let's go to the video. Mwah. Okay guys, are you ready? It's a long time ago, an unboxing. <laughs> Most have been sending out 250 packages, but it is for the tank. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you. I kept all the crypto Korean that I thought would die because they looked so torn up when I took all away, but I planted them and hoped and I can see they are coming back. But this is another crypto Korean. Actually, it's the only one that I've never been able to keep. So I don't know if it's in my water, but two times I tried it before, two times, and never with crushed coral, meaning harder water. So that could be one reason. I hope that is the reason because this water is hard because hard word. This water is hard because this is a lot of. I don't know, send me this bag in box, how are you gonna open it, because it's no natural opening. Oh, except where you get the wine out, of course. No, if you have this in the whole Europe and the whole world, no. by now, but people buy wine like this, and now they apparently send plants like this. So it's a private seller, and I really took my seconds, you know, five seconds for uh, auctions, that was the same. And I put just five dollars on each. Five seconds before they went out, and they went out with thirty second difference between them. And I won two of them. And because she was a little bit late, she said one extra. She said, "This is Cryptocorine Aponogetifolia." So it looks similar to. Um, the undulata, the big red leaves, really biggest one that I had with my yellow labs. But instead of being red leaves, it has only green leaves. And it grows even taller. Ah, it pretty much grows the same tall, but you don't want to cut these because they seem like to be really good aquarium bags. Sorry. They think this is boring to look at, but for me this is Christmas, because this plant is one of those plants that melts back when you move it. In your same, in your aquarium you can move it. So, it can, it can totally melt down and just die for me. I'm not even sure. So it's, this is always an experiment with this one. But you see, you recognize it, you have seen it in big. African cichlid tanks. Doesn't look so good now after shipping, of course. In my opinion, why didn't take, they take like a long shoe bag or something? Instead of this box and tie them here together like this. So, uh, I'm not gonna wait for the other one actually. Because I saw how they were in pretty poor condition. She, she sent them on a Sunday, which I hated because I immediately immediately asked why the hell did you send them on the Sunday when you know in Sweden at least everything stands still until Monday. This is just one day extra for the plants. Unnecessary. Totally unnecessary. Right? I don't know if she sent me extra. Is this extra if you buy if you win two auctions? She is very cheap compared to me. 
this is a good, have a good root system. Hopefully this is like a mother root because you see no leaves almost, but hopefully this will melt back and then come back more, more beautiful than ever because look at this focus. You see, this is bad at focus. I don't like the S10. I got the S10 for free. I was happy, perfectly happy with the S9 Samsung. And then I got it for free, so I was like, ah, why, why not? It's supposed to be a better camera and everything else will be the same. But this is not the same. This is annoying. Oh, you have seen it. The mother roots look like this. Look at the root system. And then this is all the leaves from that. These poor leaves. So I don't know. I'm actually gonna take a picture because I always do that because she sent them on the Sunday. They got an extra day. This is an extra sensitive. Like I told you, if you move this plant, if you move this plant within your aquarium, you see this looks like it's dead already. And this looks healthy ish, but it's hole in every leaves so this could uh, end in a very bad way in a way that everything melts away and dies and I get nothing so I will wait a long time before I leave the judgment to her but I'm gonna take the picture so we we'll finish off the video here and go to the next one So it feels a little bit old school to show you when I take the lids off and just speed the thing up. But the lid is back there, the other light is behind there and the glass is open and you see I already prepared with black gravel. Now they all got mixed up but I think it looks pretty natural anyway. So I prepared a spot already so it's not going to be too much in the stream but also in the corner or in the middle slightly in the middle or slightly to the left it's not going to be right to the left or right to the right or in the middle that never looks good it's still be a little bit off they always look best if you do that you're going to put in the weak ones at first uh, now i'm going to put in the big ones at first because i prepared for the big ones. Some old rock, I took a hammer and just to weigh it down because I know how much this one to float up. So I'm gonna dig a hole with a good kitchen tool. So this is just old school planting. And before you click off and think this video is gonna be a planting video, we're also gonna unbox something a surprise in this video and set it up so stay tuned because this video is gonna be fun and the only reason that I have the money for this is because my four last live streams if you rewatch them you see that four good hearted souls gave me super chats it was like number seven and number six ever that's not because people hate me and don't super chat me, that's because I never go live. Do you see how much is stirred up? That was just one that small one. Take the big one, same root system. You should really split them up, but I think I'm too short. I'm 6'2", but I'm too short to reach to the bottom and plant them like I usually do. But I want to try it. Do you even see me in the picture when I'm doing this? Almost. It's very deep, this aquarium. Let's see. Uh, I didn't put on flight mode, so one phone call can ruin this video. That's why I'm so in a rush of planting also. Just one phone call and it will cut the video off. I don't know why that phones make it like that because 
What if someone is doing a make video of their baby being born? Do you think they want to pick up the phone rather than just keep filming? I don't think so. Poor choice of Samsung, I think. And I can't do it because I'm waiting for the uh, deli uh, delivery. That sounds like I'm buying stuff all the time, but it's food delivery during Corona. And I only bought things that cost as much in the cheap stores that I already use. Like their coffee when it was on campaign, Fun Light, Trocadero Zero, Pepsi Max. And some tobacco, and it was the same price as it is in the cheap stores. So no luxury here. I'm still super poor everything. Feels so bad that I have to explain that in every video, but I really don't want to think that anybody is... Maybe he's just hustling us, telling us he's poor and we've been sorry for it. And then he keeps buying stuff. No, that's in my name of the channel, Crazy Aquarium Guy. You shouldn't buy this. What did, what did you think my parents and my sister said when I borrowed money from her to pay bills? Now the delivery man is here. I'm gonna plant in this last plant and let him in. So this is what I got. Doesn't look so good now. But I'm gonna do water change and show you how it looks after. I'm so happy he didn't call first. See you in a minute guys. Second for you. Look how murky. But at least it's actually time for water change because it's been nine days. So I have no fish in here almost. So technically I could wait another month, but I'm going to do it anyway. So we can end the video with clear water and look at the plants already. They're not going to look good right now, but I want to show you now because then you can see them after, hopefully. Either they're going to melt down on me for the third time and my water isn't good for this plant or they're gonna thrive like everything else has done in this aquarium so far but now to the surprise unboxing that you're not going to be prepared for it. and I explain why I'll do the unboxing otherwise my videos get so long they always get long anyway <laughs> but it's just the way I do it sorry guys I really don't want to show you something too personal, but I don't know. <sighs> Looks like we need a bigger boat. I thought about, I'm gonna explain as I open, because I think you can understand what a tube size shape like this is, maybe. If you've been following my channel, it will be great if I'm gonna send another something big, sell something really, really big. Then I'm gonna keep this box for that, or a moving box. So you see it yourself, I keep stuff now because I sell 200. Before I unboxed 200 a year, now I send out 200 a year. So this was just, the shipping was gonna be the same and I need this hose for when I put the snail tank that is in the kitchen on the table in the bedroom instead before I show off the apartment when I'm gonna sell it. I need hoses for a canister filter. You can't have it open with sponge filters and plants rotting. You need to have so a little bit more good looking than that. When you show people something, they're gonna pay 150,000 for if you're if I'm lucky. That's what I'm hoping hoping for. Why did they use this? Ah, uh, it's probably eco-friendly. That's why they use this shit. Do you know what I realized after using 10,000 different ones? This is the only one that stays. So I actually keep this on the 175. So I bought another one because they only cost two dollars. edges you see now have tape on the edges because they made the glass like this 
much too little so it slides down into the aquarium if you just give it a nudge on the snail tank so they send me this for free this is supposed to come with the aquarium in the corners I didn't want to complain on them because this is cyber zoo highly recommend cyber zoo they actually have a youtube channel but they only talk in swedish just started out but good anyway no other store Swedish store has a YouTube channel explain their lights and reptiles and stuff always such a good guys now it's a big hint right two pieces of glass are you getting closer to what it is it's necessary to save time that I speak while I do this because they have packed it so unnecessary difficult for me to not mess up my whole apartment when I open it. Here is what they should have used in the whole thing if I could have chosen. The paper thing gets like it's called styrofoam or what's it called? I don't know. You know what I mean. You get it everywhere. So, two sheep corner filters. First hint. And a video I'm releasing tomorrow is showing you the air pump that is chargeable. That's gonna run these two now. And I'm gonna. Um, Changed back to the small one that I had before. I just wanted to try it out really hard on a sponge filter because that is not for sponge filters really. It, it is for uh, air bubbles, or air stones. And sometimes when you have a machine like that, they can take the pressure when a sponge filter gets dirty. So I want to push it because we have good warranties in Sweden. So I will get a new one for free so it doesn't break down in the middle of me when I move. Turtle food. I don't have a turtle anymore. No, I know. But I always fed the snails this because everything that is in this is also perfect for breeding the snails. And I still don't know for sure that I might get my pahaka tomorrow. But if I do, I want to be totally prepared. And now you guys must know what it is. Um, Sorry, I have to go out of the way to do this and then I come back to the camera. One second, guys. I could so neatly. Okay. What do we have here? Close look. Not that close. Oh, I don't like this phone. Like that. So, corner filters, one there, one there. Ceramic filter media, I don't know where I put it. Doesn't matter. Uh, this is why I do stuff like keeping bags of uh, ceramic filter media next to the sponge with my enders. If you saw my video, last video, if you don't, please go in and watch that. I show my endlers breeding for profit in the tub because they have so much bacteria right now so even though the fajaca is coming tomorrow or the next day probably the next day 48 hours sounds like a little too not enough time to I mean I'm not going to be able to cycle the tank but I'm gonna get pretty far by using two kilo, almost two kilo. No, it's not two kilo, it's more like 1.4 pounds, maybe. One, I'm all over the place. A pounds is more, less than a kilo, so. It's at least two pounds of filter media, okay? There, I got it right, finally. I'm saving all of this because I'm still selling everything I own. Everything you've seen during any video has been out for sale. 
and when the price is so low that it is a joke to sell it for that then I keep it that's why I kept the table they were eight eighty dollars each nothing is wrong with them I was down up if you buy all six you get it for twenty dollars each and still didn't sell them and I don't want to get rid of them but I need money so I was like this is ridiculous I'm gonna keep them you get what I mean right there's a limit to everything <sighs> The next step will continue in the kitchen because this will be in the kitchen. And maybe that sounds weird, but it's not when you're going to see the spot, the position, and what lighting do I have. I don't have any lighting. I sold all my lightings. But stay tuned. I think this will be a swim tails. It will be too long otherwise because I'm going to set the whole thing up and I talk too much love you for being so patient with me and staying through my videos when I talk too much. See you in the next bit. So the tank is in the place. You see I really need a space because now the kitchen looks like shit because everything is everywhere else instead. But I didn't trust this one because I put weights on it to the same amount that the tank filled. And this is a 46 liter aquarium and do like I do did in, be in the beginning when I looked at American videos. Go to a site Google liters to gallons, gallons to liters. Because I don't remember anymore. <laughs> now okay, I think if I would guess it's a 12 and a half gallon. That would be pretty close. And we have a kitchen light here and it's a quarantine tank. And that is because I am betting on I'm getting the Fahaka. So that's why I keep it. And I think for the first time ever I'm going to keep it bare bottom. So I can see him really eating the blood worms, the mosquito larva. Because he's going to come in like a fry, like the last time. Like this size and hollow looking. So I don't know what I was thinking when I thought... Yeah, let's put him in the 175 with two FX6 filters that can suck him in the filter, in the intake. With this big Siamese algae eaters and three XXL plecos. No, no. That's not going to work. But for lighting, I did the DIY stuff. This is something I put up underneath the shelf. Just to keep basil and thyme and rosemary and stuff like that fresh for a little bit longer in room temperature and it worked basil actually grew so it was good enough for that but I tried to put them together and you see these small holes it's wood under here I would super glue it that would go super fast but I'm gonna sell this apartment and I don't know if they watch underneath who wants this ugly thing under here, but it's not going to show because look, it's underneath, so it's not going to show. But I want some kind of lighting, but I don't know. I'm divided by that and just keeping it on the tank because then I can take it me with me when I move and always use this as a quarantine tank. I think I will do that actually. <sighs> then the video gets faster made as, all, as well now we're gonna go I'm gonna try to be quick for once so you don't have to wait for ever to watch my videos like you always do you nice fish lovers you're too nice to me but you know deep down I deserve it too so we have an agreement a silent agreement that Zach yeah he's controversial he says weird stuff he promised things and then he doesn't show up for eight months but somehow we trust in that crazy fish lover because you never know what he's gonna do and you would never believe what they got on me because this is my super site cyber zoo they should really sponsor me if they were smart enough and understand how many YouTube how many Swedish people are actually watching me even though I have a few percent it's still several hundred 
and I would settle for like I have 10% VIP code, so they all re already is is or how do you say it? They already is. They already are. They are nice to me as it is. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna turn off the light. Yeah, like that. I think that will be better. Is this better? No. Okay. Now the magic of this one. I showed you in the last video. It's still running. Because it's charged. And when it's charged, it's like 12 hours or it could be 24 hours if you push the button again and it goes blinking on and off occasionally then it's 36 hours otherwise it's 12 hours double outtakes and it's a lot stronger than you think when you think it's rechargeable of course a little bit more spendy the same thing there 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 everything was used Oh no, don't I have enough outlets? Yes I do. I already thought about it and prepared. I have exactly the perfect amount of outlets. Because this will go in here, right? If it's not, I fix it later. We do it now so we get the shit. We get this video started. Okay, so the filtration is going to be two sponge filters. Normal holes. I like the green ones because, yeah, I like them. I, I prefer the blue silicone ones. But, but what I would prefer even more is why is nobody making a black hose? I've been looking everywhere. And people say, why do you look everywhere? Just buy a CO2 hose. And then I hear other people say, no, don't buy that. It's not the same thing. So, therefore, basic green hose. And now we don't have money. So this is a hose I actually had. I didn't have to buy it. But you know that. You saw the unboxing. Shut up, Zach. But like I said, the cool thing about this is now it's charging but even if we put pull out everything it will continue for 12 hours full power to run both of these so that's going to be really handy when i move so i didn't buy this because it's a fun gimmick thing to have but it actually is also good to have on an aquarium if you lose your electricity or something, but I never bought anything like that before. My tanks were always fine until I got the electricity back. I was scared one time when it was like 12 hours without electricity, but I just did water change in all aquariums and then this power came back. And I wasn't worried anymore. I was a happy little boy again. Okay. So basic setup, but I think it looks pretty good. I never did done something this simple, so now I'm into that it is so super simple. Why is it so much glare? Because I have this this on, of course. Better? Yeah, a little bit better. Still glare from the windows. You know how it is. And we can't turn off all the lights, then we won't see anything. Hmm, what is the next step guys? I think the next step is we fill it with water, right? You don't want to watch that. So, a second for you guys, a couple of minutes for me. Okay guys, even I gotta admit something. It's something charming about filling a tank in four minutes. <laughs> I actually overfilled it the first time I did it was so small I'm not used to small tanks anymore that is gonna settle down it started to float a little bit I couldn't resist putting in a Mopani driftwood piece just to have something in there to make a little bit more interesting 
see if we can get more close up. But this lighting, the Kelvin, I like the Kelvin actually for this aquarium. It looks bright and good. Yeah, don't you? This will be perfect. I can see the bottom all the way here. Put down some white mosquito larva for the Paca Puffer and then see the whole bottom underneath the sponge filters because this one is still floating but even if they sinking you see that they have a little gap and I like that so I'm gonna try to not put in gravel but we have one last step left and this is where all the newbies think what the hell is he doing to that clean beautiful water he is destroying the new tank. Look how clean he got it. I wish my tank was this clean. Like when Gollum said, he ruins it. But you know what I mean. And I'm gonna pause the video because it's gonna take a second. Okay, sorry, not a second, but... Cycle Ceramic Media. This is gonna destroy the look, of course. Who likes to look at that? But this is gold, guys. This has been going in the tub since December. I said I'm gonna leave her at least eight months more. So I have six to eight months. I rewatched the video with the guppies reading for profit thing. I'm gonna put in both. Whoa. They fit without flooding the apartment. So now we have, okay, the air bubble in there. This is much finer bag. Nice video sec. No, but these sponge filters are essentially going to steal the bacteria from the ceramic bags because now they share water and eventually after I would say because we're only keeping one pack of buffer I'm gonna do 50% water change uh, once a week maybe even 20 water percent change every third day just to be sure Treat him with medicine, even if it's spawned. Not in nature, it's not a wild caught fire buffer. It's a small little fry like last time. So it shouldn't have any parasites. But I have one medicine that is very mild. It's not like each X or something. It's not that it can be a little bit stressful to the fish. It's really mild. I'm gonna use that just in case. How the hell was this put on? Like that. Easy as peasy. Okay. A little bit too much water, but it's gonna go down. Yeah. Why mount the lighting, right? We're gonna move soon. This is just to get the Pahaka started by himself. I like this tank already. Weird thing is that I like the Kelvin because I shouldn't because it's a really industrial Kelvin but to the tank and the black bottom it suits it. It's, I don't know how low Kelvin it is but it's a yellow color, really dark yellow, not white, yeah, uh, really white light or white yellow that I usually like. You know how I like blue lights and white lights so that is the video for today guys 
but it's really cheap. I already got these three. I got discount 10% on these stuff and the tank. And they give me even more discount because it's supposed to come with 4 millimeters uh, covering lids. And they only had 3 millimeters. Who cares? It's these lids, not the thickness of the aquarium. I was like, take it and take off 5% or. So. And funded both the plant and this funded by live streams so there you go exactly the same amount because YouTube take their cut if you really want to help me become a member they still take their cut but they take big cuts now they take big cuts of everything now because now they started with the taxes and everything uh, even on us poor small guys like me need to pay huge taxes but enough complaining it was a fun video at least for me I hope I didn't forget to tell you anything but it is like this that's why it was uh, so stressful he called me and said yeah they paka I called them I said I need a tank they say we didn't have it in stock but I need a quarantine tank because I realized I don't trust the snail tank because the snail tank I put in everything. You know what I mean? What what if I forgot to rinse the potatoes skins and they have some dirt in them that will cause ammonia. The faca is really important to me and I buy one and I can buy one each year and then they're gone again. So this was reasonable for me even though it's crazy when you have my kind of money but this is a 12 gallon tank it was super cheap uh, CyberZoo makes them sell these small tanks so they can get them down really really low in price and the corner filters also because they aren't very good but good enough for fry it like it's smaller than a bumblebee it's like a honeybee you can compare it to a honey it's like a pea puffer when they come in Faka babies that small so this this is gonna be heaven for the pea puffer and we have the ceramic that's been working the first bag since we started the second bag since February doesn't look like it has bacteria but it's gonna come soon then we threw in a small baby original fleckle to clean the glass for us to keep the fire company and then we're gonna do my favorite med I can just show that now because I already talked for so long so why not another minute and I have a whole video on medication and it's in a playlist called medication but it's only one video in there because I cover pretty much everything in the same video it's a long video but this is what I buy because this treats all fungus, fin rot, bacteria treatment, all the usual stuff but it's very mild on the fish and you do it for three days in a row first day full dose, second day half dose, third day half dose again and then you wait and then you wait two weeks and you can do it again if you see problems still or a belly in, sucked in belly or something but this is something you can do as soon as they arrive and the site where I buy my awesome pellets cheap awesome pellets my favorite store they sell me that medicine for six dollars and it's for uh, what is it for it's for 200 gallons one bottle for six dollars so I always keep that in stock same with another one for internal powder sites those two I always keep in stock because even if they go bad after two years and I throw them out and I have to buy a new one, it's worth it if something happens. So this is the aquarium. Pretty much fits in the frame completely now. And there we have the ugly stuff. But I think I will pick out some because I'm not going to be... I have a timer, I have a light, I have air stones. I'm not going to service these until I move the puffer so 
maybe I do some vacuum on the bottom if it's getting really dirty, but I think I'm just gonna let it sit like this. So I'm gonna just cover this with the stuff that was there. For example, like one cutting board, stuff like that. That you need some space for, because I'm a chef, you know? I need my space when I cook. I hate it when you come to the kitchen and you can't start to cook immediately because the person has so many things everywhere on the desk or on the desk or on the on the open spaces. The open spaces should stay like open spaces so you can start cook immediately. That's why people buy takeout because oh I need to clean the kitchen, then I'm gonna have to start cooking. If that was my case, uh, that's happened to me too. So the kitchen should be completely clean like this, without the aquariums. And then, boom, you can just go at it. So I'm breaking my rule now. But everything for the Fahaka. And if he is calling tomorrow and say, the Fahaka is not coming, I'm gonna be devastated, of course. But it's not, like I said, we can't do anything more than just hope. But the positive thing is, if they spawn a Fahaka, I've seen how many eggs they lay. And it's Sweden we are talking about. And of course they'll sell to the rest of Europe. But I would guess if they get one Fahaka to spawn, they can get more Fahakas to spawn. And one batch is probably 10,000 fry. So that they would be out of stock when I was hunting it down and caught it the first week it was available. We can call that super bad luck if that is gonna be the case. I almost forgot my favorite little temperature meter. Like I told you, weirdly enough, the Fluol Nano sticks best to all glass surfaces. It's hollow and it's very accurate because I have an expensive for cooking meat. And I dry them two against each other and the Fluol is very accurate. So it, good in, it is good in every way. This is not right. How do they want me to set this up? Like this? Why do they want a gap in the middle? Oh. Never mind. So now we have, we see the temperature, then we end the video. Perfect, just like I wanted. 28 degrees. What is that? About 86 degrees Celsius. Maybe. 84, 85, no, yeah, I think it's 86, 86 and a half. That's pretty warm, but you want warm water, especially when you get fry in, because I'm gonna feed six times a day, like last time, because it went so well. He went from the <laughs> Indian puffer, to uh, a fully grown molly, to this package in like six or seven weeks because of my feedings so they are really hungry when they are that small so it's pretty cool I'm gonna be able to feed him a lot thank you so much for watching fish lovers hope you trust me a little bit, little bit more when I do project like this it was a hazard even it's a small tank but I injured my foot when I Oh, my story gets longer and longer. Anyway, to make this video today and to make the video that I'm gonna release tomorrow, but it's probably a couple of days before this one. It was in the middle of the night because I couldn't sleep for the whole night, so I still have a lot of problems with stuff. But I'm back because my passion is back. So you're gonna see videos on my channel again, so come back. Come back and check it out. It's gonna be new uploads every time. 
two, three videos a week, at least one. I never promise that anymore because that is the most stupid thing you can do, promise. But exactly how, how many you're gonna show, but I promise I will do my best this time. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Should we turn the camera around? Yeah, okay. Nice haircut. You know, I haven't been to the barber since Corona started. That's why I think this is record for me ever. Not just because it's a Corona thing, it's because I'm so poor. So combing the hair back or keeping a hat on is much cheaper than going to the barber. But it's time for the barber or just shave it all off. That's the most cheapest one. That I can do that tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Fish lovers, see you in the next one. Bye bye.